G'day everyone, welcome back. So, I am back in my ute, which is just uh, fantastic. The only thing is that the cruise control doesn't work, so that, that is a bit annoying, but uh, the guys are gonna get that sorted for me. The sensor just needs calibrating, but that's all good. The ute is back, and I'm glad I have it back. Now, uh, today we've got a bit on. Um, so today is Monday, uh, meant to have Levi here, but yesterday the plane that he was coming down on got cancelled apparently the pilot got sick and they couldn't find another pilot so instead uh, he's had to jump on the bus and I'll be picking him up this afternoon from the bus so Levi will be with us tomorrow so today uh, we've also got uh, Carl here he is gonna do some spading for us so I'll show you guys some spading uh, we've got George He's going to start doing some greasing on the press wheels and doing a press wheel check for us on the bar. The uh, press wheels last year <clears throat> were starting to look, get a, uh, a few of them were starting to go. So he's just going to go over all of them and check them. Uh, Henry is uh, going to do an oil change on the Norrish seed bin for us. And uh, Dad is going to start picking those rocks up for us on the, uh, the new road there so we can start seeding there. And at some point we'll also have Maddie here from Farmer General, our agronomist, and we will be going around and having a look at the, uh, yeah, the crops, well it's not the crops, the paddocks that we're going to be seeding into and make a plan of uh, our spraying and how we're going to attack it. So uh, yeah, busy day, let's get into it. So this is a spider. So you've uh, you got your ripper tines at the front that go on the ground and they rip the ground as it goes along just to make sure it's all soft for when the, uh, the actual spading part comes in because you don't want anything uh, hard underground. And then this is what the, uh, the spader looks like. So that spins at 90 RPM and uh, does a hell of a job. And then out the back here, it's all compacted by the uh, the wheels out the back and you can opt to uh, seed at the same time which is what we should have done last year but we didn't but this year we're still uh, three or four weeks from uh, seeding barley into this paddock so it'll be um yeah we'll get nice lots of rain on it and uh, it should all be nice and not compacted but uh, harder soil for us to seed into so the seeder won't go too deep so yeah Carl will uh, jump in and get spading and I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like. So as you can see, once he's gone through, that all our clay is now all mixed in with that sand. So you can see all the clay as we dig down we've got a nice clay profile the whole way through compared to the sand just here so if i was to dig this sand we're not going to have you know, look at that that's just sand so that's spading i'll obviously uh get a bit more footage for you guys and throw the drone up once he's done a fair bit but yeah it's uh it's a slow process but yeah, you just go along and you uh, slowly just spade all our clay into the sand, mix it all together, you end up with a good result. And hopefully a productive crop will grow here now, uh, instead of a uh, unproductive crop. George is down greasing that bar, which will go down in a sec, and he has already found, if you can see that, it'll be one-handed. A bearing that is uh, gone and toast. So I'll go down and check on him, see how he's going. And uh, Dad's gonna start having to play it, um, trying to get those bearings replaced. Hopefully, there's not too many down there that George finds. Did I get the right filter? Well, it fit. It fit. It's a bit bigger, but it fits. Well, at least it, <laughs> that's all it's gotta do. <laughs> so this is all ready to roll now. Yep. Just to grease and we're done? Yep. Cool beans. Well, fertiliser arrives this afternoon, so... Cool. That'll be good. 
So with the addition of uh, the one up at the shed, we've got two more just on the back row. They're a little bit loose, so we're just gonna see if we just need to tighten a uh, nut instead of redoing the whole bearing. And uh, now you get the joy of climbing underneath the bar. Yeah, I know, that's why I started at the back. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the bearing from before. And we're just hoping we can just Tighten that nut up and have it all be good. So just tightening it fixed it. Oh yeah, old man skills from way back. Look at this, <laughs> you know. I thought we'd put it away, ready to go to start this season. But um, obviously we've got a couple of these, which are, yeah. Got to get done. Yep, they need some like this one. attention. So we've got Brian here in less than an hour. And he's bringing out some fertilizer for us. So it'll either be urea or compound, I'm not sure yet. We'll find out when it gets here. Uh, the guys have already gone along and you can see have cut all the foam off so it's nice and smooth so that we no longer have any, any foam that would break off and get into the uh, air seater. We are all go here this morning. And I can see that George has got two more press wheels off down there that we're going to have to address and the guys are in the shed there now just uh, having a go at uh, t I think they're actually removing the bearings of one of them so yeah hopefully we've got enough bearings for uh, how many press wheels come off <laughs> we had one that was uh, busted you can see it's come out and uh, disintegrated so this is why we're doing it all now in time for um, seating the uh, bearing Cones are nearly impossible to get out of here, so we're just gonna put a beta weld on each side and should shrink it enough to hit it out. So it's just getting that time of uh, the bar's life where we're having to do all the bearings and things like that because we did, what did we do last year? All those bushes in the, in, the jump in the jump arms. So we did all those. Well, we didn't do all of them. We did most of them. Well, we didn't do the big one that went through. Yeah, jump arms. And then uh, now, uh, so this is, we've done five seasons with this bar. We're going to our six now. And we, um, yeah, the press wheels are just, it's done a lot of, uh, lot of wheel rotations. So yeah, we've got to keep up our maintenance on it. That's what we're doing now. Just making sure it's going to last the season and we're not doing this during a night shift or something like that. So, I don't know if you can see that, but one of the rollers has managed to jump sideways. <laughs> so, that's why it wasn't turning. That was the one that was catching as you were spinning it backwards? Yes. Yep. Yep. Good thing we're doing this maintenance now. <laughs> Where the chase wind sunk in there. Yep. Uh, and then obviously all that headland. Yep. Uh, Getting prepared to take the smudge bar down to Hatton's to go and uh, do all the stuff that Henry ripped because we're not going to be able to get canola germinated in any of that because it's all too cloddy. So in order to do that, we're gonna take all the chemical off of uh, Henry's truck there, the Shepherd, and we're gonna throw the smudge bar on top of that, take it down, and then we'll uh, take it off down there because we obviously can't, can't drive that down along the road, definitely not the bitumen road. And uh, before we do that, we'll also take the receiver off of the ute and chuck it onto Art and Art's receiver onto the ute. And then that way, I can then get into the screen and do all our um, VR maps, get that all sorted.
George has uh, spied some holes in some of our hoses whilst he's been doing the grease. Now he's got to find them. <laughs> it was mostly on the red ones, like in places like that. Uh, I'll, I'll find one that's warm around here. I know there is. Well, you find one and I'll see if we've uh, got to fix it or not. So, the hole he's found is that one, and that definitely needs changing because that's just going to spurt everything out of there. <laughs> Seed fertilizer. Like a well-oiled machine. Guys are busy working away getting those press wheels sorted. George is down there. He is changing one of the hoses. Uh, I am next to Louie. I just washed the bucket out because we um, it was a bit dirty. See now they've got a bit of a few lumps in there. I need to get out that I missed because uh, very shortly Brian's about to drive into the yard. So what Brian has got on board is the uh, Agstar manganese. So that's gonna go in uh, the right hand side of the shed. So that's the back trailer done. Uh, he'll go forward and then I'll come in with the loader and push it all up. And then uh, we'll bring the front trailer in. And one thing we do hate about this shed is the uh, rails on the ground. Cause uh, oh, nearly perfect, nearly perfect. But we ended up with just a little bit stuck in our, um, our channels, which is very annoying. I'll film as good as I can one handed doing this. Next time I should uh, get a sticky mount or something. see why we do the tarp because uh, we're already above the, the bricks there just allows me to push more in and have more in here forward
Now what I gotta go do is grab the shovel and the broom. I'm gonna get everything out from the edges. Uh, and then sweep it all in with the loader and then sweep what's left with the, uh, the broom. We are now going to go and lift the smudger up onto the back of the shepherd here. And then we will get this down to Hatton's there so George can go and smudge that uh, ripping stuff that Henry did the other day on all the tram lines. Bar is all strapped down. Dad is now heading down with the telehandler. George is just swapping the dimes over on the uh, tractors so that the correct dime is on art and I can do the uh, screen. And then George will be bringing the, uh, the ute down. Well, I'm about 10 minutes behind uh, George and Dad. They should be down there by the time I get there. I won't be holding them up hopefully because I uh, just caught up with Maddie, the agronomist, who is about to go around with Henry. Just make a plan of attack of uh, which paddocks we hit first and what's the best way to hit them for uh, getting a double knock and achieving our best kill and cleanest paddocks before we uh, seed into them. Um, this week we've got a bit of rain on the horizon so it could be a bit of an interesting time for Henry trying to spray but I'm sure we will work it out and we'll get through it and we'll be seeding in no time. Got it off and got it on. Now I'll just walk out here and see what sort of a job it's going to do. Uh, he's going to struggle because there's a lot of uh, stubble and ryegrass because it's obviously an area that didn't grow much crop or any crop. So George is actually going to have a bit of an issue with that. Uh, you can see just here these piles. They were from the ripper themselves. Um, yeah, George was having issue when smudging the clay and he was turning around with the stubble getting hooked on. Uh, so we'll see how he goes. If we can just get a few passes up and down on it, hopefully it'll uh, at least knock them up and make it better. Make it at least trafficable and make it so we can seed something into it. That's not doing the job, is it? The uh, issue is that the ruts are obviously sunken deep on each side. It's a lot better now, but it's uh, meaning that the, the drag is floating, if you will, and it's not getting you know, the stuff that it needs to get. Uh, we'll see what this looks like when he goes past here. and Yeah, he might need to increase the speed, but you can see he's a bit bouncy in there. It's, it's doing something. <laughs> we'll see what it looks like. You'll have a few guys at each pass and we'll see. Like it is, it is breaking up some. That's mostly where he's driving though. Um, not getting these nice big ones though. Bit more speed and he's he's getting something. We'll just he's gonna have to do it probably two or three times, at least at least three, just to try and uh, knock these boulders down. 
but we'll leave George to do that and uh, we'll go and check out how the spade is going. As you can see by the drone footage there, it's doing a, uh, it's doing an awesome job. So we'll just come over and have a bit of a dig and a look, but yeah, that is doing a, uh, a brilliant job. Just what we want, incorporating all this clay and yeah, can't wait to uh, seed into it and get this growing season done and see what sort of crop we can get off here now. So just having a dig, you can see we've got all our clay all incorporated now. It's just lovely to see on the sides there it's just all all mixed in there and if we've done our our job right with the smudging yeah, the, the clay should be the same size as the uh, sand and that's what that spader will do it'll knock it up too so then it all just binds with that and just becomes nice productive soil and this is how you can tell that uh, the area that we're spading is needing spading and needed that clay so we spread all that clay there George smudged it and now Carl is uh, spading it now just here is where he's just pulled in and you can see we've got a nice big clay ball there there and there's quite a few just there so uh, what that is is um, just here you can see we've got good stubble here this is good productive soil right where we are and as you get just only a couple meters past here there's no clay coming up and it's just going into what we've clayed so it just uh, 
reassures you and backs you up on the decision you made to go and spend all that money spreading clay, then smudging it, and then incorporating it. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's good to see. It's good to see in practice and that it's working, that we, uh, we've done the right thing. Oh, it's been a busy day. So I'm just filling up the fuel trailer, uh, getting that ready for filling up the uh, Carl's tractor. That obviously will need fuel tomorrow sometime. And also George will need fuel. He went down to the paddock down there with uh, less than a half tank of fuel. So we'll have to fill him up tomorrow as well. Uh, so yeah, Dad is busy still doing press wheels. Uh, and then I'm not too far off heading down to Mungle up to go pick up uh, Levi. He's uh, rocking up on the bus. So I'll get him, bring him back here. And then at about six o'clock tonight, uh, hopefully Brian is back here with uh, a load of your rear. So we'll get that unloaded and uh, yeah, the day will be over. Well, Henry's just got back with uh, with the agronomist and uh, he's got some spraying to do. So he's gonna, he's loading his truck up now, getting that ready for tomorrow. I've got the trailer hooked on because uh, on the way to Munglet up, I go past and I'll be able to hopefully pick up some chemical that he needs in order to get spraying. So. I'm about to head off and uh, go and do all that. So we are on to the last job of the day and that is unloading the urea. I've uh, picked up Levi and picked up the chemical, got that all sorted. Now we've just got to load, unload the truck and do it all again. So we got the, uh, the back trailer empty. Now I'm about to uh, use Louie and go and push uh, this in and then we'll do the front trailer, do all that sweeping and shoveling and then we'll be done. Ever seen three men pose the exact same way on a shovel or a uh, broom? <laughs> I don't know where Dad just disappeared to, but they were all looking the same. And that is the end of a very busy day. 
we uh, we got a lot of lot done today, so we are nearly ready to go seeding. We have got to do point change and all that sort of stuff on the tractor, well on the bar, so the oil filter change on the uh, tractor and all that. So that's to come this week. But yeah, that's the end of today, and that's the end of the video. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.